Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player survival world. Now today, we are going to be working back at this this horrible piece of whatever it is. I don't even know what this thing is. It was it was meant to be a bathhouse and it turned out terribly. It's way too big and it doesn't even look like, yeah, man. I know you guys said it didn't look too bad, but I, I just couldn't let it happen. I couldn't let this happen. It was too, too bad for me. So what we are going to do today is I've, I've thought of something. I thought, you know, we've got this area here. It goes out over there. Let's just quickly walk around. So let's let's give you some sort of a picture here. So we're walking down here and you've got this area here, which is going to eventually go around to the back. So we can have like a little path over there. This one over here, I thought the path would eventually go around there and just work its way. And we can still do that with this even. But what I was thinking was this one here, you can see we walk under here and this was also going to have a path. And I thought we've already built this thing. It's huge. And it kind of looks like to me, at least it looks like a place where a lot of, I don't know, you'd have a lot of carts and stuff like that. And the, what I thought about this was because this is what I perceive as the back of our, our village. So if we come out here, you'll see that this is pretty much, it is the back. I mean, there's nothing else going on. I like to think of the other side as the front of it, where we got the uh, bridge as like a main entrance. So that's, that's what I was thinking. And is this a explosion, explosion horse? No. Nah. Okay. Good. I just like to set them off. All right. So what I was thinking is perhaps if we made this area here like a stables area. So an area where you've got your horses, your stables and all that stuff. So we'll clear it out. You'll see what I mean, hopefully. But what I was thinking kind of like you can have them built into here. You can see I've already started taking out a bit of this. You can have them built into here like a stable and you can have, for instance, a horseshoe repairman guy over here sort of thing. You know what I mean? Just built into here. And then on the top, we can have a row of houses that run around there or maybe shops. I don't know. Just that go around there that look over this area as like a big open horse area. I don't know. I don't know. This is just what I'm thinking. And I, I reckon it'll work. So, uh, oh, no, I reckon I can make the jump, can I? Why is my my keyboard's not jumping? Okay, never mind. We'll we'll just do the the, the old school, old fashioned way. There we go. So that's my plan. Now, what I'm planning on doing to start off is I plan on just clearing this whole area out, out to a level area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fix up the walls. Then we're going to go and plan out where we're going to put these things. And we'll see how far we can get because I think this could actually be a good idea. I, I don't like the stairs 100%. We might have a look at that. We'll ha well, we'll definitely have a look at that. But I, I do want this to still have some like relevance at least. Because if we came up here, like, let's, uh, I, I want this to be more of a slope, as if, like, a horse could come up here carrying some things to the market through there. That could work, actually. And we can even make, like, a little cart and stuff like that. That'll be really, really good. So, I think I'll be back, guys. I'm just going to go and clear this out. There's a bunch of clearing to do. And by the way, all of our smooth stone is now pretty much here. This is pretty much all we have left. And it's not going to last us very long, so we might even have to do a mining session at some stage in the next few episodes. So, yep, I'll be back. All right, everything seems to be looking quite good now, guys. We've got everything patched up, I guess, and the ground's looking pretty flat. I've got rid of the stairs. You can see what we had below there. Now, what I'm thinking, I'll quickly run you through what I am thinking here, because I was thinking of a few, many, many things, actually, <laughs> uh, while we were doing this. And I was thinking maybe we could push these back and kind of have, like, another wall behind here sort of thing just to create a bit of depth. But then I thought, you know what, let's just leave it nice and easy. We'll make the wall all like different blocked and stuff. We'll get to that stuff now. And then over here, what I'm planning on doing is knocking this out and creating a little bit of a entrance, well, an exit slash entrance to the back of our village, which will go out into this area and eventually to the swamp, I guess, if you, if you wanted to continue the path along. But that is what I'm thinking. So what we can do here is we can just mark this out. I'm not gonna be dealing with this, I don't think today just because it, it seems like a bit of a pointless thing until we've got something. So let's do that just to make sure that we know that we're not doing anything here. And we'll just do that there. And obviously that shape of the door is not going to be the shape that we're doing it. I definitely don't want it to look like that. So we'll do that and block it off. One last piece. There we go. All right. So what we're thinking about doing in the inside here now is I was thinking, you know how I said I didn't really like this yet? Are my frames low? Yeah, 59. There was, I was probably recovering from something there. I don't know what was happening there, but it just felt a little bit laggy. So what, uh, what I'm thinking of doing here is having a straight path over here made out of the normal stone. Man, why do I have so many little ditches in here? 
made out of normal stone bricks. And why I think it's a good idea to do that is pretty much because I think having all of this as what I originally thought path blocks would be absolutely horrible. Uh, man. <laughs> and it would just look very, very dull. So I think if we can bring in a bit of ch a bit of contrast and we could also keep a bit of grass in here as well, I think would be very, very nice. It, it'll just make it lo not look as gray and browny as what the rest of the town looks like. And that is pretty much the main struggle, actually, to keep keep it not looking gray and browny. So there we go. Grab those, grab those and that. Now, what I'm thinking with this here is we will have our paths going up to here and then we'll have to go s slabs there. And I'm, I really wish we had slabs of all different, man, it's, I guess everyone does. It just slabs in general. I was just thinking like, how horrible is it? We can only use them and normal stone slabs, which don't even, they're a bit too white to go here. Okay, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll just give us a try. Now, I'm thinking I'm just going to space these out, make this look a little bit kind of broken up with a few of these. Then we'll go, oh, actually, we can use a bit of gravel in here as well, a bit of gravel there. And in the middle, I'm planning on doing purely like these sorts of things here, like majority of these to be the stone bricks. There, there, and there. <laughs> uh, I realize how terrible my English is today. The majority of these. There we go. Man, <laughs> uh, there and we'll start doing these. And this is actually something I never did much of, which is uh, working in a bit of stone with it, just plain stone there like that. I think that actually works quite well when you, you look at it. It sort of breaks it up because there's all these different textures and lines and stuff going across with those, with those, that having this broken up, you can see it there already. It's really making, making a difference. Uh, oh, we've actually got some of those. And I also want to get in a few of the, where are they? There. A few of, oh, I guess those could be good. Those and some mossy stone there. Good. All right, so let's get those in. And then we'll also work in a few of the path blocks in here. Cause I really like when we have a path block in, I think it looks really, really good. But what we'll do is we'll do my trick of making them lighter by putting it around some stone slabs. Cause that tends to work quite well. And I don't know if I've, I th I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys that where as long as you put a path block around half slabs, it comes lighter. So we'll, we'll demonstrate it now. <laughs> we may as well demonstrate it now. Now we can put in, uh, we need some half slabs first. So let's, I think I had some in here. I'm pretty sure I had some. Yeah, I need five. Okay, never mind. Not, not in nearly enough to show what we're wanting to show. There we go. And we'll go in here now. So that could be a good spot there. We'll break up that one because we've already got these here. So we may as well break there, there, there. We'll put in one of these grass blocks and then we'll do that, 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 and that. Now path blocks, man, why did I do that? That was, that was silly. Path blocks, as long as they have empty blocks, you can see they go really light colored. And then we can also do something over here, for instance, that one there. And we can put in one of these and you'll see that this side will be a little bit lighter because it doesn't have a block there. Well. Eh, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let's, uh, that doesn't change it, but does this change? This should. Yeah. See, it goes a little bit darker. It's very weird. Actually, maybe that has got something to do with it. Actually, I want to just see this. If I put a block there, yeah, that does affect. Okay, interesting. So this half slab here affects that over there. What about if I did that there? That See, that does affect it if I put in one of these, that. Okay, interesting. I, I like working with these half slabs. There's some interesting, well, with these path blocks, there's some interesting things you can get out of them. Uh, I just want to finish off with a few, maybe just two of these. I find with the mossy cobblestone, there's just, a, it's just very, very, uh, I don't know, invasive. It's it just, the green doesn't work quite as well as it should. Okay. Uh, maybe we can do one more path block in here somewhere just to break it up. I think it, it does a good job of breaking things up a bit. Yeah, and maybe one in around here like that. Actually, we can keep that a grass block just to, yeah, even further break it up and one over there. Yeah, that's a good looking path. All right, so after this path, what I'm thinking, we'll, I'll, I'll probably just do some st uh, slabs and stuff here where I can put a full block, I'll put a full block and we can make that a bit different. And then what I want to do is I want to get going on 
Maybe not necessarily a stable, but I've actually got a, an idea for this area here or that area there. So I'll be back when I've got, got this stuff done. All right, so we're back and have a look at what I've done here. You can see I've gone ahead, I've placed in some things around here and I think these stairs actually work quite well. A little bit of a trick that I figured out here, which I think works, I don't know, you can tell me if it works or not, is using a few of these spruce slabs in where we can't get in a slab, you know what I mean? Like that's where the stone slabs were. Having runs of stone, uh, stone brick slabs just didn't work, so it made it break it up a little bit more. I think that looks all right. I, I don't mind it actually. In fact, why is this one? This one's a, is this a, yeah, that's a stone brick slab that we can place in one of those there just to break up that row a little bit more. You see what I mean? Now, what my grand plan was is, well, is still, is what we're going to do. Why do I keep hitting E? Uh, we are going to be building a blacksmith in over here on this, on this piece here. And I think that'll work because we can make this a huge blacksmith. I think it can be a massive blacksmith. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be somewhat a little bit different to what we normally build. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be fun though. So let's get clearing out some of this ground that I've just recently placed down here. And we'll start doing the layout of what I want in here because I think the layout in this part at least is quite important. Now, one thing I know you guys might be thinking that I'm forgetting about, which is back in this area that we chose to work on in the front of our base uh, at the beginning of these last 20 episodes, uh, why aren't we going to fix up those rooms and stuff in there? Well, I'm still going to be doing that, but not today. <laughs> so I haven't completely forgotten. Now, what my plan is, is I want to have a big chimney going out somewhere. And I'm thinking if we, I mean, it would have to probably be at the front, maybe over here somewhere. So if, for instance, we had the front bit open. So imagine we've got this front bit over here that's completely open. Let's do some of these. Uh, like kind of like an archway like this and goes across there. Something like that, right? We just pretending. Don't 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 think of any of this is set. So we're pretending there and we have in here the ability to walk in on both these and we want a big kind of open I've I've got an idea with some magma blocks and some lava just having a big open casting thing here like you know what I mean? Like we can have maybe these here just to to represent what we're doing and we want it to be built into the wall so we can go in a few blocks that way just so that we can have it pouring in from that side maybe we'll have to do it a bit more centrally over there we have a little bit of a a gap there that could work is it going it's not going please don't tell me it's going nighttime it's probably going nighttime uh but yeah we've got this going in here like that and that can that can work as a, a giant furnace like a giant smeltery furnace thing so that will be in there and then going in deeper we'll have over here for instance a whole bunch of like work benches and work tables and then we can even start digging out the back here for other stuff that we might want. Uh, now the roof is going to be a slightly different roof to the roof I normally do. I'm planning on doing a bit of a sloping roof like, let's go here. I might be able to demonstrate it. So a roof that slopes up slowly there. And we want to obviously have our chimney going up out somewhere this way. And obviously because we've got houses over here, we will have to probably put the chimney going along the wall or something. Just so it actually looks functional. It looks like there was some thought behind the chimney. And that's what made it happen. So what I think I will have to do here is get a little bit of stuff done because there's quite a bit of stuff to do just in terms of the structure of it. And I know it's it's pretty simple structure, so I'm not really too concerned about what's going to be happening here. Now, if you guys can hear noise in the background, excuse my neighbor. Uh, they yeah they just no consideration. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's um let's continue on with uh, this little bit here. All right, so this is what I was thinking about the roof. You can do see something there. You can see that I'm gonna do something like that. Now, what I was thinking to take this one step further would be to connect these two roofs, well, like this roof here, into two roofs like what we do on our normal stuff. I think it could be kind of interesting here. So what I wanna do is probably get a bit of, do we have any, sl no stone brick stairs. I think it might be easier just to use the uh, stone brick just so we can get our, Whereabouts of which roof is which if we want to switch these out. Oh, we do have them right there. Man, that's that was dumb of me. <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to just do something like that. And then we want to... Hmm. We actually need this to be... Actually, how would this work? Okay, I'm not too sure how this will work. This is going to be an interesting kind of a roof. I don't know why I... <laughs> I always do this. I bite off more than I can chew. Uh, maybe we can do something along these lines here. Where's, where's the center of this? Will we be able to see? Yeah, this is the center here, right? 
So what we want to do is we want to make a bit of a sloped roof, like pitched roof over here. So we'll do this and that, and then we will work it out here. So if we did something like that, then that, then there, there, and we'll get rid of this one. There, and then we'll have to do the same thing here. What do we do there? We did a one of these, like that, like that, and there, and okay, maybe we should move this up one more that way, uh, just to account for the roof, because that's that's already the right height. So let's let's quickly do this. I think this I think this actually might be a good idea. This roof, it might it might be interesting. If it does work, it'll be working very good. I hope. Uh, but I think it has got a lot more room to fail than to work, that's for sure. So, uh, well, at least on this small scale, I think on a large scale this would work very easily, but on this smaller scale like this, I don't know. I don't know. Um, if we do, we can't do that, can we? We'll have to do that, and then that there, and then get rid of that, and put that one in. No. Like... If I hit there, should it? It should, right? There, good. Alright, so let's check this out. We've got this one, first one in here. And we can get rid of that. We can actually maybe start sloping this in. In fact, that could be a good idea. We'll take this up here and we'll just check where these come straight up. That, that comes straight there. And this one here we'll quickly do as well. Where we just get rid of those. And we will have to... Get in over there, over there, there, and then we go down. Okay, we'll we'll get rid of that and put that one in there. And fantastic, now we've got it. We've got our roof hopefully working. So if we do that there and pull these out backwards, such as... Oh, come on, hurry up. Uh, there we go. Now, if that... Will that work? This will be an interesting sort of thing. We'll have to try that out. Like, maybe get a few of these in. Like, there. And there. And then we'll do one of those there, like that. Hmm. It's quite an interesting thing that I've <laughs> decided to do here. Uh... It's going nighttime as well. I actually think this could work. I'll have to do a little bit of stuff on the front here, but I think this actually will work. Alrighty, so surprise, surprise. I didn't go with that roof. I ended up changing it up and doing a, a bit more simple of a roof, but one that I think actually works a lot better than what it, that other one was looking. So I, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm very happy with the way this roof came out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get onto the inside of this building, and I just remembered I needed to take, oh, yeah, I remember what I needed to take. I was gonna say, I, I came to this side with some idea, and that, that was for some of these, because I want to make this, because obviously there's gonna be smoke in here, there's gonna be fire, there's gonna be a lot of flames and stuff, so we have to make sure that it's well ventilated, and that's what these will be there for, which actually doesn't work too badly. I'm actually quite happy with that. Now, you can see we've done the inside of the roof as well. It's looking pretty damn good, I think. And I've moved this one up one block here, so we can make this furnace smeltery. I don't know what, I don't actually know what it is actually meant to be called. I, I, I'll admit that now, I actually have got no clue what it should be called. Uh, but what we're going to do in here is we're going to be putting on a bit of, a bit of, or putting in a bit of these, like that. Just so it looks like these things are melting, and in fact, what we could do is probably put this in here. Like that. Okay, we can't pick that block up. Hmm. I'm just thinking, because my thought is that we have a big thing full of lava over here that's pouring in over here into this, into there. Actually, let's just, let's just build. I'm pretty happy just to give it a go. So we'll, we'll do this. And we'll get rid of that block there. That block there, we'll have to fix up those ones at the back. So if we do this, this can be as big as we want it to be. We just got to remember when we put stuff above here that there is lava. <laughs> and we don't want it to be broken. Because I know you, like, you think magma. We've also got lava on us, don't worry. We've got our lava. 
coming. Here we go. Alright, so if we put lava in over there, that should pour in over here. And then we'll do another one in over there. Yeah, that could actually look kind of cool. I actually don't mind that. That could be kind of cool. That over there won't be kind of cool though. <laughs> uh, maybe something like, actually, one of those. Like that. And then there. Pouring in down over here into this thing. Around here maybe, like that. Yeah, that could look kind of cool. I'm not too sure how to make this look like it's actually... I mean, the magma blocks almost are unnecessary now. Well, they actually are unnecessary, completely unnecessary right now. Wait. How did I duplicate a lava... Did I just duplicate... Oh, man, I just... Let's test this out, right? So, I had three lava buckets on me. Lava bucket... Let's just get these. Okay, we can't get them. There's first lava bucket. Second lava bucket. Third lava. Ah, you see, that's what happened there. Okay. Man, that was trippy. That was very trippy. So we'll do this again and we'll fix it up. Okay, that, I, I honestly, I'll, I thought I had found myself something awesome in this game. Uh, but not today. Not that we didn't find anything different, too different today. So let's, let's just put in maybe these. I mean, we've got these holes, may as well fill them in with something a little bit different. Now, the next plan is obviously we'll fill this in. Uh, I can, I can do that myself. That's, that's nothing too important. But what I was thinking is we can start decorating this thing. And I was thinking of placing a few of these blocks down just cause I mean, they are iron. This is what this guy would deal with, a bunch of iron. And the other thing I was thinking of was getting a back room to this place like here, which we can push in one block like that. And then maybe do something with a bit of these, like so. And then just something in here to make it look like it's been supported at the top. Just a little bit of something where we can put in a back room where the guy, I, I'm, I'm thinking this guy is pretty, I mean, when I, when I think of these things, I, I imagine this guy to live in his house, <laughs> in his, in his uh, blacksmith. So I think this wouldn't be a bad idea, just having a little bit of a room in here, which we can fill in, event uh, like, eventually. I'm, I'm thinking what I want to put here would probably be a banner. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but a banner for a door, kind of like a cloth door, would be kind of cool. I think it would suit the suit what's going on here, and I think it would just be quite authentic. So, no. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be all right. Let's get rid of that quickly. And then we're going to have to be putting in a few of the normal things that you would find in here. For instance, a crafting table, which is something we always need and we always seem to never have on us. So let's get rid of those. Put the crafting table in around here. And then with this crafting table, we're gonna need to get ourselves maybe two anvils, maybe three anvils even could be a, a good idea. Uh, did I not? Oh wait, no, I didn't, it only made one. Okay, good, good. <laughs> For a second, I thought I had lost an anvil there. And there we go. Okay, they stack. I actually didn't know they stack. So we'll put one here, put another one in over here, and we'll put one in right around there. That's looking a bit more... Yeah, it's giving it a bit more life. Oh no, these are gonna burn, aren't they? Yeah, that's fine. We can we can work this out. So if we get rid of those, I hope this, this is a good enough distance. And then we'll also just change this one, just to make a little bit of variance in here. We'll do something along these lines. Yeah, there we go. That's good. I'm actually not too upset with this. I'm actually very happy with this. I want to see how it looks at night where we need to put some lighting. But what we probably will do is something along the lines of what we've been doing recently, which I think is a, a pretty cool looking thing. And let's just get a bit of a bit of uh, cobblestone wall. That would be a good idea. A good start, at least. So actually, I can store that. Uh, cobblestone will be in there. Cobblestone wall. And then the other thing I wanted were, well, was, and uh, we're gonna get rid of it. Don't need those. We can place them in their right spot at a later stage. All right, so here we go. Now in here, I'm planning on putting a garden. I don't think it'll look too bad. I think it'll work quite well. 
and we'll get rid of this stuff, and I think we'll come back to fix this in another episode, I guess. Okay, that's not gonna work. We need that to be a slab like that. So we'll need to put, actually, do we want one or do we want two? I think we want two in here. We'll put one in around here, and then we'll put another one in around here. I was actually aiming for that one, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right, there we go, and there we go. Get, get on there, like that. And then our simple oak fence slash glowstone torch or glowstone lamp. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. I, I want to just do a few more things here, like little things along these lines here to make it look a bit more authentic. But I think that actually does not look bad at all. And we could put in maybe something along the bottom here, maybe a bit of, in fact, I actually want to get a bit of iron going in here. Maybe we can do some of that quickly. Get some iron bars, like that, and we'll do another one. What the hell, let's just do it. And we'll get those in. Now, where I wanna put these, I don't actually know. I've, I've gotta fill those in, but I think we'll probably put some in just here for a bit of support, and also something just to fill in the corners. Cause you know how I like to fill in corners in general, it just, it, it helps the build look a little bit more natural. And we'll have to move that one, one away. So, let's get rid of... Those for now. There, place that one in right around there. So yeah, I think this will, I think this will do a very good job. We'll do something like that, that'll connect to cares. And I think we have pretty much got ourselves a proper blacksmith foundry thing for this area here, which is gonna be making horseshoes, I guess. And I wanna put in a few more item frames and stuff around here. But I think for today, guys, this will do it for today's episode. So hopefully I'll get a bit of stuff done in the next episode. Uh, when we come back here so we can have a look at what this thing looks finished and I'm probably gonna get a bit of groundwork done here I'm not too happy with the way this looks right now So we'll, we'll get a bit of stuff done here and get that done So thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye